How's it going, tube dudes? Didn't, uh, didn't manage my time quite right. I knew uh, this store wasn't open till 10 o'clock. So I dropped Amber off. She's at a two day course today and tomorrow. One day on the payroll, one day off the payroll. It's a union thing. Uh, she was elected in t as uh, vice president of their unit. attending something for new president, vice presidents or something. I don't know exactly. Uh, so I had to drop her off and because we're just still down at one vehicle. I needed to drop her off and couldn't just send her into town with the with the van. Um This is, it threw me off just this little bit and I knew this wasn't open. So I made it to, I made it to drop her off on time and then I came out to the toy store, Princess Auto. And I knew I had time to kill so I killed that. So I thought, and then I drove over to the store to pick up my camcorder. It's been, they've had it for six weeks now. And uh, well, it looks like the store's actually open and it's like five to 10. They actually open early. Have you ever seen a store do that? Man, you know, retailers now, I don't know. It just screws you up when you get one that does that. Uh, I got here early, so I've been sitting having to wait. If I'd known, I should look at the clock. Ah, man, I don't do mornings. You know, with the way I sleep, having to get up at 7 to, to bring Amber into town, I didn't get to sleep till probably 5.30. So, I'm working on... I don't know, hour and a half, maybe. It's usually about half what I get. So I'll have to go home and take a nap. But I can't because I have to drive Kyle into work. Uh, for 12. Then it's, then I could maybe have a nap this afternoon, but no, because I gotta pick Amber up at four. Four or four thirty downtown Winnipeg, and then I, and Kyle gets off work at six. So it's been a whole day doing nothing and feeling tired for it. It sucks. It really sucks. Maybe I'll go get the oil changed on the van this afternoon. It's overdue. That's likely what I'll do. Um, the only problem is when I go out there, I usually want to visit my mom. But I won't have time for that because once I get there, it'll be hard to leave to go and pick up Amber. And mom will want me to stay for supper. And, and tomorrow, I'll have to drive Amber in again. Get up at 7 get her here for to, into Winnipeg, right downtown Winnipeg too, be about a mile from Portage and Maine, which is the biggest inter main intersection, it's where I worked. Um, 
because Kyle will likely be refing tomorrow. And tomorrow I want to try and get the tarps on the portable garage. And, uh, oh man, sorry. Uh, AG needs help doing duct work under his house. He wants Kyle to help. Well, Kyle finally got the settlement for his car. Uh, the check came this week. Made out pretty good. You know, he uh, drove it for a year and three, a year and four months or something. And other than oil changes, the only thing he did was put two new tires on it back in late August, early September. And so those tires had maybe 5,000 kilometers on them. And they allowed for that. Unfortunately, they don't allow everything, which is unfortunate because the tires, it, he had a, a Chrysler 300M and they were an oddball size tire. So as soon as they become an oddball size, they're more expensive. So. Whereas a regular size, the same kind of tire he bought would have been $150 here. I think his were closer to $250 by the time you got them all mounted and balanced or something. Um, so they allowed, I don't know, $300 and something for that, for the tires. So, in all, they... I think they gave him about $4,800 after his deductible for the car. Uh, which isn't bad considering he only paid $42 for it. So drive a car for a year, make $600 on it. And other than maintenance, put you know, $400, $500 worth of tires on it. So he's He's to the good. So with dropping Amber off tomorrow and then Kyle will be refing and AJ wants Kyle's help. Kyle's gonna want my help to go look for a car. I really have to get into town to visit my mom. I haven't seen her in a couple of weeks, and that's not good. I gotta get in and see her more often, but when you feel like crap, it's just so hard to uh, to get motivated to do anything. You know, considering how up I was this morning, I Part of the problem is, you know, it's 10 o'clock now, and that was when I was doing that last video, it was about 8.30, so an hour and a half, and in that time, I feel like I've put in a full day already. That's how fast the fatigue hits. Hour and a half, half of it sitting on my ass, more than half of it, driving, which doesn't tire me out too bad. A little bit of walking at the store, but I... I take a cart, whether I'm buying anything or not, so I can uh, lean on it. Makes it a little easier, and then I don't walk quite so much like I've been drinking and knock things off the shelves as well, so there's a couple of benefits to doing that. Anyway, I'm gonna go in, pick up the camera. I'll be home by quarter to 11. Got to leave by 11.30 to get Kyle to work for 12. Then I'm half hour to the car dealership, 12.30. Half an hour for an oil change, one. Might be able to get an hour or two sleep. I really don't like... Maybe I could get Amber to hop the bus out to my mom's. That might work. And I can visit my mom's and sleep until she gets there. I don't know. I'm kind of all over the map. Ten minutes of gibberish. Because I'm tired. It's going to be
gonna be a bad day. It's gonna be a long day. Tomorrow too. The store is open. I just. feel bummed enough. I don't feel like walking in. But I have to. I'm already in town. I'm already sitting right outside the store. Pick up the camera. And uh, catch you in a bit and hopefully it'll be a little more, a little more bright and cheery. Take it easy. Have a good one.